Hi, my name is Christian Cruz, and we're in front of XOVO in Dallas, Texas to see my first exhibition, Living Portraits of Abstract Rituals. Come on, I'll show you. So Living Portraits of Abstract Rituals involves three performers activating installations for three hours. This is Amy Sapian. This performance here is an iteration of pinata dance. I personify the pinata to represent a marginalized population here in the United States. I think about how the pinata is meant to be broken, its only purpose is to be beaten, ripped apart, and we expect sweetness to pour out of it. So I think about being taken for granted, or perhaps the emotional labor that them identifying people contribute to the workplace or the housework in relationships, how women are paid less than men in the United States. But you see the emotional turmoil going on inside of her, eventually being broken and falling down to the floor. But most importantly, she gets back up and tries again. This performance also uses stillness as a framework for abstraction. So you see a lot of stillness in all three of the performances. This work here represents domestic labor. All three works are allegories for hard work. And what I'm emphasizing here is laundry. This is performed by Paloma Salas. So what she's doing is she's balancing laundry baskets. And something so simple and light can be very heavy if done over long periods of time. Again, we're using stillness as a framework for abstraction and transforming everyday moments. So this metaphorically represents balancing all of the chores that we have in our households. It also represents housekeepers and them balancing the work that they have. It also represents mothers who have to balance the many things in their household or people that are stuck in quarantine that have had to wash their dishes, do their laundry over and over and over again. It can feel like massive, big responsibility even though it's a small task. And although they're lightweight and small, they can be very heavy on the body after long periods of time. Again, these performers are doing this for three hours, so we're transforming everyday moments. This piece here I made with my child's clothing, and it has a very painterly aspect to it. It's made with bed sheets and skirt, a tunic that she wore, and some small undergarments. I like to use everyday objects, so people like my mother or those that are not familiar with art, have an art history background, or don't go to museums often, can really identify with the materials that I'm using and see themselves, see uh, how creativity can be sparked in their houses when they go home. All of the work has little t little aspects of Mexican culture in each performance.
This piece here is an iteration of a work that I've done in the past called They Tried to Bury Us, They Didn't Know We Were Seeds, which became very popular during the DACA protests, the several protests that have happened for DACA. And what that means to me is being in a disadvantaged position but still manifesting your dreams, still prospering. And here I created a faux ritual of our times using natural elements like dirt and moss, but then kind of contrasting that element with the plastic applique that's very trendy right now and to make it from 2020. I like to make performances that really show the date of our times and the, the, you know, the, the marker of our times. So this is Brooke Shaney and what she's doing is she's reading. And again, we're using stillness as a framework for abstraction. We're finding that being still is also a way to work. Uh, think about meditating, think about reading a book and how hard that can be to just sit down and feed our soul. So this represents spiritual work. Come around back and I'll show you the video. Okay, so this video is quite the opposite of the other three. It's the culmination of working in performance art that deals with labor. This is non-labor that I'm representing here in the video. And so to say, let's, this performer didn't show up, this performer is absent, and we're seeing moments of where this performer is doing nothing. So what are we really doing when we do nothing? We're waiting, we're remembering, we are perhaps daydreaming. And so all of these moments are moments where I'm really remembering happy memories. This video is called, I Don't Dream of Labor. And it's in response to the question that we're always asked, what is your dream job? And I think to myself, I don't dream of labor, I dream of happiness. And so you see these moments of my own personal family archive pushing my daughter in a swing or her first bath in the hospital. And these are moments that I reflect on as moments of healing whenever I'm waiting for the water to boil or filling the tub. And I have a nice couch here for those to sit down and it's about a three minute video. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video tour. My name is Christian Cruz and this exhibition is called Living Portraits of Abstract Rituals here at XOVO in Dallas, Texas. Thanks so much. Bye.